फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षद राणे एंड आई एम टीचिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग द टू डेज टॉपिक इज वन डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस दिस आर द टॉपिक्स वी हैव टू कवर्ड इन टू डेज सेशन दैट इज टू डायमेंशनल प्रॉब्लम केस एंड टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट्स ऑन वन डायमेंशनल एंड एनालिसिस एज वेल एज इन थ्री डी बॉडी इन केस ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल प्रॉब्लम केस दिलेमेंट्स और बॉडीज विच आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय टू डायमेंशंस देर आर टू केसेस ऑफ द टू डायमेंशनल प्रॉब्लम्स वन इज प्लेन स्ट्रेस कंडीशन एंड अनदर इज प्लेन स्ट्रेन कंडीशंस इन केस ऑफ प्लेन स्ट्रेस कंडीशंस द थर्ड डायमेंशंस इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी निग्लिजिबल as compared to the two dimension or third dimension is negligible the figure shows the plane stress this uh, example of such type of body are membrane thin plates etc why in case of plane strain it is assumed that the third dimension is large as compared to the other two dimensions the example of such uh, plain strain problems are like shafts axles etc in case of plain stress condition the stress along the z axis sigma x tau y z and tau z x are zero while in case of plain strain conditions epsilon z gamma y z and gamma z x is equal to zero in plain stress two dimensional problem case the plain stress condition is characterized by very small dimensions in one of the normal directions a thin planar body subjected to in plane loading on its edge surface as shown in figure and is said to be in plain stress in such cases the stress components sigma z tau y z and tau z x are zero and it is assumed that no stress component varies across the thickness therefore we can write sigma z is equal to tau y z which is equal to tau z x which is equal to zero hence the equation can be written as epsilon x epsilon y gamma x y is equal to 1 by e times in bracket 1 minus nu 0 minus nu 1 0 0 0 to in bracket 1 plus nu into matrix of sigma x sigma y tau xy this equation one is obtained in when we put this sigma z tau y z and tau z is, is equal to 0 in the last session of the equilibrium of the forces and strain stress displacement relationship now stress equation for plane stress condition can be written as sigma x sigma y tau xy will be equal to e upon 1 minus nu square in matrix 1 nu 0 nu 1 0 Zero zero in bracket one minus nu divided by two into in matrix epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y. Let it as equation number two. Now in case of plane strain, the problems involving a long body whose geometry and loading do not vary significantly in the longitudinal direction. are referred as plain strain problems the examples of plain strain problems are long earth dam whose height and width are measurable in meters whereas the length runs into kilometers long cylindrical tunnel and etc in such cases strain components like epsilon z gamma y z and gamma z x are zero therefore we can write this components in terms of mathematical form epsilon z is equal to gamma y z which is equal to gamma z x which is equal to 
now stress strain relation for plane strain can be written as by putting this epsilon x epsilon z gamma y z and gamma z x into the station stress is station we get x sigma x sigma y and tau x y is equal to e upon in bracket 1 plus nu in bracket 1 minus nu in matrix 1 minus nu nu 0 nu in bracket 1 minus nu 0 0 0 1 minus 2 nu divided by 2 into matrix epsilon x epsilon y gamma x y that it as equation 3 now the temperature effects on the body the body may be subjected to initial strain which may be due to the change in temperature it may be due to shrinkage or may be due to the crystal growth in a body etc the initial strains at a point in a body due to change in temperature are given by epsilon 0 is equal to alpha delta t alpha delta t alpha delta t 0 0 0 or we can say that alpha into delta t in matrix 1 1 1 0 0 0 where the delta t is the change in temperature and alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion in a principal directions the initial strength does not cause any stresses when a body is free to deform the figure shows stress strain diagram in presence of initial strains hence in presence of initial strain the stresses at a point are given by sigma is equal to d times in bracket epsilon minus epsilon zero or you can see that the initial strain is does not produce any stresses as shown in the graph this after the strain is increasing the stresses are developing in the graph which is shown by sigma and epsilon at the end points of the graph the temperature effects can be understood with the help of this equation where we know that the sigma uh, stress strain relationship is of, is given by the relation sigma is equal to matrix d into strain therefore here in complex form for three dimensional body we can write sigma x sigma y sigma z tau xy tau yz tau zx is equal to e divided by 1 plus nu in bracket 1 minus nu in matrix of 6 by 6 in that matrix the 1 minus nu 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 0 0 0 nu 1 minus nu nu 0 0 0 nu nu 1 minus nu 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 minus 2 times nu divided by 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 minus 2 times nu divided by 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 minus 2 times nu divided by 2 into a strain matrix that is epsilon x epsilon y epsilon z tau x y tau y z uh, uh, sorry gamma x y gamma y z gamma z x minus of e alpha delta t divided by 1 minus twice nu into 1 1 1 0 0 0 let it as equation number 5 ok guys we have seen and studied the temperature effects as well as the two dimensional case in case of two dimensional problems uh, two methods are there one is the plane stress condition and another is the plane strain condition in plane stress condition the thickness is assumed to be negligible only two directions are there while in case of plane strain condition the thickness is considered to be infinite as compared to the two dimension the uh, plane strain examples are thin plates membranes while the plane strain examples are the dam having infinite length and the cylindrical bars like tunnel etc 
this is about the two two problem case and the temperature effect you have seen that the temperature is also affecting on the deformation of the body when the body is free to deform the temperature uh, stress is given by alpha into delta t for three directional in three dimensional body sigma x sigma y sigma z tau x y tau y z and tau z x will be the d times epsilon minus epsilon zero where the d is the strain this uh, strain matrix and epsilon zero is the initial strain observed in the body thank you